Hi, this is Adam, the Small Town Machine Shop. And I'm very busy in the shop tonight, so I didn't make a video. But I just want to show you, this machine weighs a little over 11,000 pounds. It's sitting on a four jack to kind of help steer it. The four jack's all the way down. I do have some rollers, just the dirt is caught underneath there. They're not taking the weight. Back here. I know the lighting's gonna suck. There's two UHMW feet, one on each side on this sheet of UHMW. Just wanted to show you, you know, got it anchored off my back post. <clears throat> and just with one hand here. I can pull this guy through the shop. So, very, very easy way to move very heavy machines. I think for now on, everything I move, when I get it, pick it up on the, have it loaded on the trailer, I'll pre-make some feet. Especially if when I'm hauling has leveling feet. I mean, if it doesn't, I'll just put it on a... Uh, well, let's say I was picking this up. I just get a piece of a uh, UHMW as big as the base. And set it on that. Because then you could easily lift, lift something like this up. This is the shaper. And put it underneath there. And just put a... Uh, because it does have holes in the back. Most milling machines do too for leveling feet. That'll hook the sheet so it won't let this slide off the sheet. I've been thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with what the UHMW has done. Normally we make, let me show you here. These bogies. Those have worked really well. And me and my uncle, he's my heavy machine removing partner. And this one's a little fancier at pivots. You know, on that pivot point right there. We debated using those, making a set for this. But we'd have to make some structural <laughs> uh, reinforcements. Yeah, all we do is... Took these two sheets, spray it with a little WD-40. Now I will tell you, when you spray oil or WD-40 on these sheets, do not walk across them because they become ridiculously slick. So, yeah. And those feet are only, uh, I think they're an inch thick. So it would be very cost-effective way to move stuff or something just drill a hole in it big enough to uh capture the leveling screw and if your uh, floor is painted or something like this make it easy just as well you see just one-handed i gotta rebuild this guy i'm moving an 11,000 pound machine across my floor And with this jack all the way down, you can actually kind of steer it. So yeah, very cool. So if you're thinking about moving something heavy, I would seriously consider this. Because most of you aren't going to move something this heavy by yourself. You'll, of course, very short on the list for me is a forklift and stuff like that but it's amazing what uh one or two people can do with just something like that so yeah so a tip for you guys so i'm gonna get busy <sighs> i gotta get this lathe moved to the side this lathe in position, run the power for it up here and do a drop. 
and there's just enough room to snake that guy through the side here once I move some stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. I just wanted to show you how how that system really, really worked. That is a very, I'm very impressed with <laughs> that UHMW. It also machines real easy. So it's a, it's a handy thing to have around. You can use it for low speed bearings on certain applications and stuff like that. Yep, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.